Hey guys, I'm Daimo here for Zero Clock Gaming, and welcome to what is supposed to be another hardware video. I say supposed to be because supposedly this would be a joyous video about where I can talk about a new lovely piece of hardware that I got, and uh, what is good about it, what is not so good about it, and uh, I would probably end up recommending it. However, this is the first video that I make for the channel where I actually will call this a warning video and basically what I mean is if you come across the product that I'm gonna talk about to you in a bit uh, y or something similar to it you would be best to wise up and walk away when you see it now the device I'm talking about is this right here now I have put it all the way back I have put it in the box back uh, back in the box again I'm not gonna take it out and the reason that I put it in the box is I'm not gonna keep this I'm gonna send this back that I believe I'm gonna send this back this is called the uh, Technex, Technex USB 2.0 Digital Video Scart Grabber. What it is, is a video uh, capture card, basically. You know the type, right? You uh, hook up your, usually you can hook up a camera or a console, and it um, has an output in the form of usually, not these, where is my cable? in the form of these outputs. Now what you can then, these outputs normally go into your uh, television and then you have your image on the television. Now what you can do is use these footage uh, senders of both video and audio. You know, the yellow one is video and the composite video and then we have red and white for uh, audio. And what you can do is use various grabber devices to then uh, send capture basically that footage and then you can put it on YouTube for example this is what I have done with uh, what's it called Def Jam Fight for New York and what I used for that was this pretty much the most standard capture type of device you can get a simple USB stick with the mechanics inside ending up in a uh, plug which has your audio I mean your eh, your audio here and then you have composite uh, video as well as S video. This is pretty much the most standard device that you could get. And while it functions, I was always pretty much hell bent on getting something better because I did think this was probably as low as I could go in f in terms of capturing quality. I was wrong, and this device proved it. Um, I don't know. Maybe I have some comparison video which I can show you right now. If not, uh, it's it's really, you know, you should see the, the big part of it to really see what is wrong with the quality. I'll talk about that in a bit. Um, wh what is the reason why I bought this thing in the first place? Is it just because I wanted something better? No, it's not just that. You see, I have my eyes set on a certain capture card, and that is the uh, Blackmagic Intensity Pro, or the Intensity Pro Shuttle. kind of have to f uh, figure out yet which one um, is the best for me. I have my eyes kind of set on the shuttle but it seems to have a lot of uh, problems for a lot of people to get it working properly. The reason is that I bought it, that I haven't bought it yet uh, besides thinking should I go for the Pro or should I go for the shuttle is the shuttle is USB 3.0 only and I don't have that. I have a USB uh, I have an old, well, old, yeah, well, semi-old now, uh, P35 motherboard with a Q9550 processor, so you kind of know what kind of date it comes from, and it doesn't have USB 3.0 ports. Now you're thinking, but Dymo, you can buy all these USB 3.0 expansion cards and hook them in uh, to your system, and then you have your USB 3.0 ports. That is true, but... The Blackmagic Intensity Shuttle is a very finicky device from the research that I've done. And apparently, even with a lot of these cards, even with the cards that Blackmagic themselves um, recommend, it is still a bit of a finicky business to get it working properly. So, I really want to take that risk. It's a pretty expensive uh, capture card. I guess for good reason, because it is a pretty high-end device. It can capture from HDMI, component, S-video, and your standard composite with audio. So a lot of it can capture a lot of things which is pretty interesting although it is but it is a bit finicky to run so I'm planning to buy that as soon as I'm uh, upgrading my system and I'm planning on upgrading my system as soon as Intel la launches Ivy Bridge which now seems to be in June so I'm gonna wait for that at least 
The reason I bought this device is if you see there are a couple of pictures on here but I'll just uh, cut away now so you can see a more high res picture of it. On the one hand you have um, your standard RCA input which I just, just talked about as well as this video. However if you turn on the other side you have SCART. SCART input and this is the main thing that I found interesting because the Black Magic, how many the Black Magic Shuttle, how many points ports it has, it does not have SCART. And I do want to have SCART for certain recording uh, ends. For example, I have a very old JVC camera which only has SCART out. And if I ever want to use that camera for anything, I will have to use SCART out. So I started looking for capture cards that could capture SCART. And I found one, and that was the Terratech G3. Problem with the Terratech G3 is it's very, very expensive. It's about 90 euros, and I am not willing to pay 90 euros uh, just for a SCART capturing tool. Um, so I started looking further at some point, and I found this ho Hong Kong based. Uh, company that sold one that ju looked just like this one the exact it's basically it is actually the exact same product uh, on eBay problem is it wouldn't ship to my country uh, and actually it wouldn't ship to a lot of countries however I started go uh, typing um, googling the name a bit more and eventually I found this thing now Technex Technex here's the name is a German based company and this is one of these products that more companies do. It's basically your company sells a couple of products and thinks, well, I kind of want a product like that in our assortment. Um, brings more customers in, basically. So they then phone the company that makes them, asks them probably to put their brand on it, and then they will take off a lot, take a lot of these products off their hands. So it's a, you know, a bit of a win-win situation. Sometimes this is done with good products like the microphone that I used before I used this microphone which, uh, which is a condenser microphone from um, Ion Alesis and that uh, is a very affordable uh, USB condenser microphone. That, If you look for that microphone you will find a lot of mics uh, having a just a different just a color swap but for the rest being exactly the same. Um, and this is the same situation as what happened here, only with the Alesis, with the Ion Alesis USB uh, microphone, it was a good product, so it's okay, it's, it's, a, it's a fine working product. This, however, is an unholy abomination. This is a piece of crap. Let me walk you through why. First off, build quality, the most basic of things, right? It weighs next to nothing, which doesn't inspire much... Uh, uh, look, seriously, it is extremely lightweight. It's it's just it it feels like a completely hollow plastic box. Uh, then the ports are kind of loose, kind of slender. You just see it's not quite as rugged or secure as you want them to be. The SCART port, you have to really push the SCART um, cable connecting connector in, you know, really well in. Otherwise, it will just sit extremely loose in there. Uh, another thing, and another thing that is really annoying on the build quality is that, uh, as you see in the picture, the the uh, normal RCA ports are a bit recessed. Now this is not a problem if we use a cable like this. You see, on a cable like this, we have these uh, this lower part kind of sticks out like half a centimeter or something, actually more probably. Um, so you can just plug that all the way in and it will be fine. However, if you have a cable like this, you can see this ring is is just a very small connector. And if the thing is recessed inside, I'm, it means that I can't push it further than this yellow, than where this yellow plastic starts. Meaning that th that a connection that if I want to hook up this to the sound card, it is nearly impossible. It's a really weird. Uh, choice of them to have these things inside. If you look any other products, they always stick out. I don't know why they did that. And it's not like it's broken. It's, it was meant to be like that. You can see any picture, uh, and it has it like that. I don't know why. It's silly. It's stupid. But uh, apart from that, I I want you to know I'm not I'm not an idiot when it comes to computers. I kind of know my way around them quite well, and I tend to get things working pretty well. Internet is one holy helper in this. <laughs> it, it's really useful to... Uh, Internet is usually really useful in finding proper 
equipment, uh, proper stuff. For example, this thing, the capture card that I used for Def Jam 5 New York, this one is actually not designed to work on Windows 7. And I kind of feel that, um, because while I got it to work, it doesn't record audio. That doesn't work. So how did I do it with Def Jam? Well, basically I just had the console hooked up to my receiver first, and then had my receiver and out uh, had a receiver from the receiver had an output going to this device, and uh, basically all the sound is just coming from my speakers and then being recorded back in by the mic, alongside whatever commentary I gave. That's how I did it. It's um, it's crude, but it worked. But yeah, so this is designed for Windows XP and uh, was a bit of pain, but I managed to get working. This device, however, is, if I read the back of it, uh, where is it, does it say, actually, does it? oh, right, yeah, here it is, uh, operating system, Windows 7, 32-bit or 64-bit, Vista or XP. Well, there you have it. It should work perfectly fine with Windows 7, 64-bit, which I have. However, it doesn't. I followed everything exactly as they told me. Uh, there's an installation disk here, which I used. Followed it every every step, like they said in the menu, which is nothing. Just you know, install, click next, next, next. And for example, there was supposed to be a menu, uh, an icon appearing on my desktop, which would be uh, something where I could kind of set this thing up. Well, there appeared something, but it had like one of those white, empty files as its. Uh, as its icon and when I click it it says that no link was found it was broken so that straight up didn't work um, it also comes with some ULIT software which uh, is supposed to be an extra incentive to buy this ULIT, ULIT studio, uh, video studio or something it's called which is also a piece of crap it's 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 from the beginning it's it's almost like a Windows 98 pro, uh, uh, program it's that old looking and at most Windows XP, it's definitely not any new product, and it, and it's really limited, and it's really uh, well, it's not designed for Windows 7. You just see it how slow everything reacts, and the extremely limit the extreme limitations in the options you have. Now, so that didn't help at all. Um, then I started using some of the uh, alternative software, which I used, for example, with this device, which is debuted video capture software I think it's free to use can highly recommend it debut it's um, yeah, it's well working software it's uh, well designed and it has a lot of options and there is a paid version and a free version uh, the paid, paid version offers more options of course for example in the uh, encoding you can select more formats um, the the but even the free version offers formats that you can use really well like WM uh, WM uh, no what is it right checked it real quick but I was indeed correct WMV format which is um, not the highest of quality at all but it is you know practical if you just want to rec uh, if if you don't really care for the highest of quality but for good quality then uh, that uh, works out fine WMV but it also captures in AVI format if you want to do that and AVI is pretty much lossless so. You really don't need the other, so even a free version is very useful. Anyway, point is, try to use it with it. Didn't really took off. It really didn't work out. Uh, for example, I couldn't select any resolutions, and that is partly due to the driver. Now, I have looked my ass off on the web for drivers for this device. Their own website, Technex own website, doesn't even offer drivers um, of, for this product. Hell, if you go to this product on their website, it it has the wrong description. It has the description of another product that they offer up. So it kind of shows how how involved Technex is with their own products. This is a piece of crap. Gonna send it back. But like I said, this is really this is made in a, some Chinese company. 99% of the stuff we use is made in Chinese companies. But this is just made in some Chinese company and rebranded by Technex. So. I just want to warn you guys, if you see anything like this, um, and you think, hey, that's cool, now I can rec that's, uh, it can also capture SCART. Yeah, walk away. Piece of crap, walk away. Unless maybe you're using Windows XP, maybe it's then good, I don't know, but it's right now on Windows 7, 64-bit and 32-bit, because I also used it on my laptop, doesn't work at all, and it, when you get it to work, it produce, produces a lousy image. You know, I thought this, again, like I said, I thought this was the bottom of quality, which still is decent, but 
you know, it's not what it could be. I mean, if I hook up my Xbox or GameCube directly to my television, I get a much better image than if I use one of these. Uh, so I thought this was um, pretty much a very much limit. This one goes, that that, that Technex one goes below it. It's uh, It produces lines, uh, all kinds of visual corruptions that I don't have with the other one. It's a piece of crap. So if you see it, walk away. Anything to add? No. I guess for me, it's kind of waiting now for... Well, for me, it's either waiting for the Teratech G3 to drop in price, because, again, I'm not going to pay 80 to 90 bucks for something like it. Or maybe I should just uh, let the uh, SCART capturing go altogether and... No. No, because I want to use that camera. So I guess what I could also do is buy a DVD recorder. You know, and use that. Maybe. I don't know. Should check that out. Maybe. When I find a solution for that, I'll uh, I'll make a when I have it and it works, then I'll make a video of that. But anyway, so again, thank you for watching. This was a warning. Don't purchase a device that looks like this. You will be sorry, as I was. And now I'm gonna send it back. Well, not now because it's very late, but tomorrow I'm gonna send this back instantly. Piece of crap. Can't always win.